Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video I will show you one game that was played between Alexander Alekin and Duras. This game was played in St. Petersburg in 1913. In this game Alekin had white pieces and he started with e4. Now we have e5, knight to f3, knight to c6 and now bishop to b5. So we have the Ruy Lopez or Spanish opening. Now a6 attacking the bishop, bishop to a4 and now knight to f6 attacking the e4 pawn. Now it is white to move. Actually in this position castling and d3 are the most played move. But here Alekin played queen to e2 defending the e4 pawn. Now we have b5 attacking the bishop, bishop to b3, now bishop to c5, a4, rook to b8, now a takes on b5, a takes on b5, d3, d6, bishop to e3 and now bishop to g4, developing the bishop and at the same time pinning the knight on f3. Now Alekin immediately played h3 attacking the bishop, we have bishop to h5, knight from b to d2 and now castling king side by both side and now knight to d4 attacking the queen. Now we have bishop takes on d4 and in this position black played bishop takes on f3 attacking the queen. Actually this move is forced. The reason is after bishop takes on d4 if in this position instead of playing bishop takes on f3 if black played bishop takes on d4 then after g4 bishop to g6 knight takes on d4 e takes on d4 and now f4 threatening f5 and this is better for white. That's why in the game after bishop takes on d4 we have bishop takes on f3 now knight takes on f3 e takes on d4 and now e5 based move by Alekin. The beginning of a strong attack against the f7 pawn. So after e5 black played queen to e7 pawn is pinned. Let's see what will happen after e5 if black played d takes on e5. So after d takes on e5 we have queen takes on d5 now queen to d6 queen takes on d6 c takes on d6 and now rook from f to e1 and this is advantage for white. Now back to the game. So in the game after e5 black played queen to e7 now we have rook from f to e1 rook from b to e8 and now queen to d2. So here white is threatened to capture the knight on f6. That's why black captured the pawn on e5. So if d takes on e5, now rook takes on e5 attacking the queen, queen to d6, now queen to g5, rook takes on e5 and now knight takes on e5 and black played queen to b6. If in this position instead of playing queen to b6, if black played knight to d7, then simply knight takes on f7 and after rook takes on f7, rook to a8 check, knight to f8, now queen to f5, queen to e7, bishop takes on f7, queen takes on f7 and now queen takes on c5 and white is winning. So back to the game. So in the game, black played queen to b6 and now we have g4 and this is a very deep move by Alekin. You will understand the motive of this move later in the game. So after g4, black played bishop to d6 and now we have reached the most critical position of the game. What to do play in this position with white pieces? Just pause the video and find the best move for white. Here Alekin played knight takes on f7. And now we have rook takes on f7 and now queen to f5. Now you will understand why Alekin played g4 then. So that he can launch a double attack with queen to e6 or simply bishop takes on f7 check and after king takes on f7 g5 and black has no defense. That's why in the game after queen to f5 black played g6. If in this position instead of playing g6 if queen to c6 is played then after g5 queen to d7 bishop takes on f7 king takes on f7 and now queen to f3 and white is winning. Now back to the game. That's why in the game black played g6 and now queen to e6, king to g7, queen takes on f7 check, king to h6 
Here white play the move and black resign the game. In this position Alekin played bishop to e6 and black resign because you can see that black knight is trapped. If in this position black played king to g5 to save the knight then after h4 check deflecting the king and after king takes on h4 simply queen takes on f6 with check and we can stop here. Black has no hope. That's why in the game after Alekin played bishop to e6, black resigned the game. So that's all for this video. I hope you will like this video. If you so, just click on the like button, post a comment and please do subscribe to my channel. Good luck.